how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to view this video here because every view here counts. We are in gratitude to you. Thank you so much. It is our pure intent with what we share with you guys in all our videos, not just in this video, with what we create and what we share. Hopefully, it triggers some good memories that of your childhood or just pure good memories and puts a smile on your face and raises your frequency, raises your vibration, and puts you on another level on this path we're in, in this life, because collectively, we are going to get through this shift, brother. The 144 is here. I got a few great customs that I want to get into and two reviews, and hopefully we'll push this video as far as we can before it just gives out on us, brother. You know, and if you don't know, well, now you know. It's Durant Customs on YouTube. It's Legends of the Squared Circle on Facebook. And on Instagram, it's custom underscore wrestling underscore lucha underscore figures, brother. And it's the Rad Bros collectible store name, not item name on. So anything that you see here, except for the reviews, the custom figures you could find there if you choose. If not, tap into your inner creativity right now, brother, and go within and let your creativity flow and you could accomplish anything, brother. I guarantee you that. So, we're gonna uh, raise your frequency, we're gonna raise your vibration, and we're gonna put you on another timeline, brother. Collectively, a sovereign one. And I don't know if you guys know this lately, but I've been working out, Jack. Check out the lateral deltoids and the pictorial regions, brother. The first custom figure that I want to share with you guys, this guy was originally from Quebec, um, Canada, brother. He wrestled in Montreal. He also wrestled in the Sportatorium. This guy would do a lot of cartwheels in his um, in his wrestling matches. And, and I noticed who even Shawn Michaels borrowed a little bit from this guy. Because when I looked at him, it was actually one of my customers. And that's why I say a lot of these customers that I get, man, they wind up being very knowledgeable. And, you know, and I learn and I enjoy talking to them. And, man, because I learned so much, I never knew who. I got to be honest, I never knew who Edward Carpentier was. And the first match that I pulled up of him, brother, wow. I was shocked and I was amazed. So it opened up my door to my doors and my 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 vision to Edward Carpentier, man. He will do a lot of those uh, cartwheels and, and, and stuff in the ring. And he did that move that Shawn Michaels took from him where he would go over the top rope and then the his opponent would turn his back and he would pull himself back into the ring, brother. And I was shocked because this guy was from the 50s to the 70s, and he was doing these things, brother, that agile like a cat, brother, in the ring. And that's why here on Duran Bros Collectibles, Duran Customs, we had to pay tribute, we had to pay homage to the great, the legendary Edward Carpentier, brother, Edward Carpentier, our version, our rendition of Edward Carpentier. He has the blue trunks and the all blue boots, brother, with the black trim at the bottom, brother. You know, it's something that we put together quickly, but man, I think it came out pretty cool, brother, because we had to pay tribute, we had to pay homage to those that maybe the wrestling fans have forgot about and hopefully it could spark them to go online and search for some great matches matches of Edward Carpentier, brother. Man, I am blown away, man. And this guy was awesome, brother. He was awesome, man. 
what a great legend. And like I said on the last couple of, uh, of shows, we're going to do more tributes to the legends of the Olympic Sports Auditorium, brother. I want to do a Freddie Blassie when he wrestled. I want to do focus on, 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 on a lot of just uh, the local legends that maybe we have forgot. And I got something very special. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag just yet, brother. Because I want to save some anticipation for the next show. Of I got a great idea. I got a great idea of who I want to create. And uh, it has to do with my next custom figure, brother, because I just looked it up right now, and it just gave me, it sparked some creation, and it lit a match inside me to say, hey, and this guy had a big part in professional wrestling as far as the championship belts go, brother, and I'll leave it at that. Oh, my God, because Edwards Carpentier, his agility, his mobility, and his in-ring capability was through the roof, Jack. It was like these young kids say nowadays, fire. He was a great in-ring general, brother. And that's why here on Duran Customs, we had to pay tribute. We had to pay homage to the great. Edward Carpentier, brother. He deserves a, a figure made of him. And, and we did so. And we did that. But the next one, because like I said, brother, we got the Texas Heavyweight Championship looking out over our shoulders, brother. There, the great state of Texas. So, I had to do uh Another tribute to them, brother. Uh, one of their wrestlers that wrestled there. He was from the great a uh, family of professional wrestlers, brother. And I know that he either managed or he helped out with some of the booking too there. But it was a family, a family of professional uh, 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 wrestlers that were known as the Do Six, brother. The Dusik family. This guy that I created, he wrestled in WCCW. I think they wrestled in the Omaha or Alabama area out there then in the Texas area, World Class Championship Wrestling. But this guy wrestled Dusty Rhodes, Buddy Rose. Man, he wrestled all kinds of individuals and right here if you had that type of talent and his in-ring agility his mobility and his in-ring capability was through the roof and he was a great in-ring general brother and I'm talking none other than Frank Dusick brother our version our rendition paying tribute paying homage to the great Frank Dusick in the black trunks with the white boots, black trim at the bottom, and the black laces. He's got the hair painted on the chest, brother. Check that out. Frank Dusick. If you want these custom figures, man, you know where to find them at, brother. Durant Bros Collectibles. Store name, not item name, brother. Look at that. Frank Dusick, man. If you, if you go back and you search online on YouTube of who this man was, wow, brother. You would be amazed. I can't wait because I'm gonna go back and check out more of his great matches. I was checking out the one with him and, and Buddy Rose, man. And then I, I saw these other ones, with him and Dusty, and uh, he wrestled the next guy that I, uh, I'm gonna create, but I don't wanna let it out of the bag just now. I will show it, you know, next week on the next episode. The next custom figure and then I got two reviews that I want to do is um, this guy wrestled in the WWF brother he wrestled in uh, New Orleans he wrestled in the UWF brother he had feuds with Butch Reed he had feuds with Terry Funk 
he could have been a world champion, brother. And he liked to dump it out, brother. And I'm talking none others than the great JYD, brother. Junkyard dog, brother. So this is our version, our rendition, paying tribute, paying homage to the great JYD. Duran Customs, brother. Duran Bros Collectibles. Store name, not item name. Check that out. He's got the little bit more of a puffy hair. He's got the fuller beard. I think that looks pretty cool, brother. He's got the JYD dog on the side. He's got the dump on the back. Man, it doesn't get... The skin tone is painted on there. There's hair painted on the chest, brother. It gets no better than that, brother. Duran Bros Collectibles. Store name, not item name. Paying tribute, paying homage to the great JYD because his agility... His mobility and his in-ring capability was through the roof, Jack. And what a great in-ring general he was and he is. And may he rest in peace, brother. Because he is a true wrestling icon. If I could get a, a chain and a dog card to put on there, brother. Man, the dog's going to the dog's gonna come out of me, brother. I feel like it. He's, he, he's right here in spirit and in soul, brother. I got one more custom figure. I don't know if I shared it, but if I did, I'm sharing it again. Because the 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 mind ain't what it used to be, brother. I'm getting old. So I I might have, but I, oh, another great figure that I, I have. I did it not a couple great figures that I created, but I did not get a chance to share with you guys speaking and of the Grand Olympic Auditorium, I did a custom figure of the great uh, Golden Greek John Talos. Talos. I did a couple of them, and just like that, when it was done, it was it was sold, and um, I couldn't do the show as often as I wanted to, and, and, and share them with you guys. I wanted to. I took pictures of it, and hopefully later on. When I do get a, a, a projector that I can share the footage with you guys, I would like to do that and show you show you guys the pictures. If not, I will be creating uh, uh, more figures of John Tallis to put on the the Rampros Collectibles um, store, brother. So I did a John Tallis. Man, the Golden Creek brother, another great professional wrestler that we had to pay tribute to, paying homage. And he well deserved, brother. What a great heel he, he was. And if you go on the Instagram, you could see the pictures there, brother, of them that I created and on the Legends of the Squid Circle on Facebook. But the other one I did was Port Chop Cash. Man, that one was cool too. But just like that when I put them up, man, they're gone like that, brother. And I, I did not have a chance to be able to get to share them with you guys. But if you guys go, if you guys go online, you guys would be able to see it. Actually, the same head that I use for JYD, I also use for the um, for pork chop cash. But it was a different body type, and of course, poor Chop Cash was a uh, uh, baby blue uh, um, trunks, and then a baby blue, baby blue um, boots with the uh, white socks. It was cool. If you guys get a chance, check it out on the Instagram and on the Legends of the Squirt Circle. But the next custom figure that I want to share with you guys is my version, my rendition, paying tribute, one of the versions of the figure that I created. The skin tones paid on, on there. Black trunks, black boots, I mean black knee pads with the white on back, all white boots, wildfire, Tommy Rich, brother, the former NWA heavyweight champion. Made the trunks a little bit higher up on, uh, you know, higher rise on him, you know. Tried to do my best, but, you know, but I, I hope I captured some features of him in his body type, you know. But this is our rendition, 
our version, paying tribute, paying homage to the legendary, the great, the former NWA champ, Wildfire Tommy Rich, brother. His agility, his mobility, and his in-ring capability was through the roof, Jack. It was like these young kids say nowadays, Wildfire Tommy Rich, brother. What a great in-ring general he was, brother. But I can't say that the promos were captivating and they lured them in like a Jake Roberts, brother, or like a David Von Erich because it, it takes a real special promo, promo to be able to captivate an audience like that, brother, and speak with just a certain words that captivate the audience that make them either love the wrestler or hate them brother and he pulls them in into that match so there's some that can and then there's some that are the total package but there's some that always man like an ever competition his uh, ability in the ring was wow you know Frank Dusick man a lot of great legends, brother. That's why it brings me joy to be able to create these guys and hopefully to you guys out there, it will trigger some type of memory, some happiness for you guys and bring some joy to you guys. Let me show you guys two reviews that I want to get because I had ordered it through Cornette's Collectibles, but they said they were all sold out and I'm still waiting for my picture that was signed, but I never got my... my my picture signed, but Cornette wanted to put it in the back. So I had to go online and order it somewhere else. And I gotta say, even though I customized figures, I gotta say this is a pretty cool figure in itself, brother. Let me show you the back. I gotta say that's a pretty cool uh, figures, toy company figure of Jim Cornette, brother. Man, check that out. And little Alex, right when he saw this, he wanted to open this figure up. He said, come on. I said, man, I can't. Hopefully someday, somehow, I could get Mr. Cornett to sign this. And I, I wanted to see if I could get like a tennis racket for him, for him to sign and put it up back there, brother. But he comes also with the microphone and glasses there. He should have came with the tennis racket. But, man, I think I'm going to leave this bad boy. It's packaged nicely. In the day. And I I got to say, I am amazed. They did a wonderful job, a great job, man, with this figure. And I love it, man. I love it. They're paying tribute to the legends of professional wrestling, brother. That's what it's called, from Figures Toy Company. And on the back, we got... New Jack, Blue Mini, and PJ Palaco. But they come out, they, they do a lot of great, great, uh, they got a, a version of the Young Bucks on here too. Man, they got a lot of great stuff too. But this by far, I'm very glad that I picked this one up. I am, I am shocked at how cool this, this thing is. They did a great job with this, man. Like I, I said, Midnight Express is one of my favorite tag teams of all time. First is the Brain Busters, then it's the Road Warriors, Heart Foundation, and then the Midnight Express, brother. You know, Brain Busters were just, you know, they already knew the moves they were going to do, man. Telly and Iron Anderson, brother, part of the Four Horsemen, and man... Telly could cut a promo like no other brother. So could, so could Iron, and they could they could talk and they could work, brother, in the ring. And man, they were on point. NWA champs, I believe they were the first to capture the NWA Tag Team Championships and the WWF Tag Team Championships. The Brain Buses then. They were managed by Bobby the Brain Heenan in the WWF. Wow. Called the Brain Busters, brother. I remember their match against the Heart Foundation. Wow, brother. 
But as far as Midnight and the and, and the Rock and Roll, Rock and Roll were great, but my favorite was the Midnight Express, brother. The only tag team to hold, I believe, to hold the United States Tag Team Championships that they were known for and the NWA heavy uh, tag team titles at the same time. Who else done that, brother? Wow. Stan Lane and Bobby Eden, brother. Wow, those guys were awesome, brother. And um, I got some. If you guys have time, check out Macari. They got a lot of great wrestling magazines on there for cheap, you know. So you guys, uh, I wish my arms were long enough. I would grab them and, and, and show them to you, brother. But I'm not stretch arm strong, so I can't do that. But I got one more great review that I want to share with you guys. And check out Chapter Creator for a lot of great wrestling portraits, brother. On Instagram. Hopefully on the next video, I will have a nice um, portrait of, you know, to share with you guys. During the rock and wrestling era, brother, the peak of professional wrestling for WWF, you had Cindy Lauper that came in and was managing or was walking out this legendary wrestler. So I, I was at, I believe I was at Target and I saw this and I had to pick it up, brother. And it was none other than Wendy Richner, Richard. She had defeated the fabulous Mula to capture the Women's Heavyweight Championship in the 80s, brother. Man, and I had to get this in. If I can, I'm gonna try to make a custom um, Cindy Lauper figure, brother. You know, that would be super cool, brother. So check that out. What do you guys think about that? Are you collectors there? I was I was glad she comes with, with glasses there, brother. She comes with the Women's Heavyweight Championship. Man, uh, this is a pretty cool figure, if I do say so myself, brother. Because this show is filled with nostalgia, brother. It's filled, if you could look at that. Fall guys, lunch pail there, brother. And I'm not saying the lunch pail because I'm hungry right now, brother. But we're um, we're taking everybody back and raising their frequency, raising their vibration, and putting a smile on their face, Jack. Because that is a pure intent right here. This is the time. When we're quarantined, do stuff with the family, brother. Arts and crafts. Go to your local um, Walmart or Target and get the art supplies and tap into your creativity. You know, with the kids, go buy some bicycles and go outside and ride the bikes, brother. This is the time right now. This is the time. They need to open up all the beaches as long as it's safe so that we could all Go and raise our frequency with those positive um, ions that releases from the ocean, brother. Thank you all so much for taking your time out of your day to be here with us. We are in gratitude to you because every view here counts. And I don't care if I got five, six, eight, or 15 views. I do it for those 15 viewers that take their time to view this video. This is dedicated to you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I am in gratitude to you. Thank you so much. This is done for you guys. And hopefully, whether you're a toy collector or you're just passing through hopefully we we could we raised your vibration hopefully we brought some joy into your life and took your mind off of what's going on in this world just for a little bit brother and i hope you really enjoyed this and if you would like press like and subscribe thank you so much and like i said many blessings to you guys stay safe and enjoy the time in that family structure with your loved ones because there's nothing greater than love, brother. Nothing. If you have to, you gotta choose love, not fear, and all that we face in this life. 
Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys next time. And hopefully little Alex is here because he reminds me of a young Gorilla Monsoon in his prime chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Many blessings to you guys. And stay safe. Till next time.